Hi there Virgo, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at February 1st through February 7. And the balance of power this week centres on an intense conflict involving four planets on Saturday February 6. In one corner of the ring, the Moon and Venus are smashed into an uncomfortable conjunction with crisis-loving Pluto in Capricorn, a feminine sign that represents a passive position. Uranus, the planet of the unexpected, is threatening this trio with a square from Aries, a masculine sign of active aggression. Because Uranus is also the master of surprises, this conflict can be a game changer that comes about through a gut punch. The Sun in Aquarius and Mars in Scorpio are in the neighborhood, but they are not able to offer much help because on Sunday, February 7, they square off against each other. This uber power mix could mean war, but it could also be a reflection of the offensive and defensive lineups that will face each other on Sunday, February 7. That's the day football teams will be gathering around TV screens all over the US to watch the Super Bowl. Because, of course, the Super Bowl, in a lot of ways, is reflecting this energy with the offensive and defensive lines. Now, Virgos, with the planetary activity, Pluto, and we also had the Moon and Venus in Capricorn, that's transiting your fellow Earth sign and your fifth house of romance, creativity, and self-fulfillment, an area that could be affected by this planetary uh, war and when I say war it's just like people are you know the planets are butting heads and the signs are butting heads so just watch out that you don't overreact to something and that if your partner or someone that you love very much does throw you a curveball you, you, you can sink it in you can catch it and you can run with it and you realize that they might not have had much of an opportunity to do anything else. But whatever you do, don't use it for fodder for a huge argument because no one will win that argument, if you know what I mean. So really focus on what it is you can do to make everything make sense. And that's probably one of your greatest gifts. You know, every sign has a great gift. Virgos, you're known for being practical, having you like perfection. You like things to go a certain way. And in your romance and your fun zone, with so much planetary activity happening in Capricorn, it may not be going that way. And that's okay. You can deal with that because you know what's going to pick up. And you know next week there is a new moon in Aquarius and it's Valentine's Day and there's a lot to be happy about. Have a wonderful week, Virgos. Great speaking to you, and I do look forward to speaking to you again next week.